Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the sixth commandment. You shall not commit adultery. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do lead a sexually pure and decent life in what we say and do, and husband and wife love and honor each other. Do you realize this is the only commandment that Dr. Luther spins in the positive? We should fear and love God so that we do lead a sexually pure and decent life. This commandment brings us back to the gift of marriage. And remember, when God created them, he created them male and female, that they might be together forever. You see, marriage, the relationship between husband and wife, was made before sin came into the world. Marriage is always a gift, always meant to be a gift, where the husband and the wife have someone to be a helpmate for them, someone closer to them than anyone else in the world that they can love and honor and cherish and trust. Marriage is a gift because in marriage is the gift of intimacy. And what a joy that is between one man and one woman who are married, who are husband and wife. Marriage is a gift because out of marriage and out of intimacy, God gives us families. He gives us children, blessings to us that we may continue to bring them to the knowledge of our Savior where through baptism he gives them faith and he makes them his own child. And he gives them gifts as well. All of this is marriage. All of this is a perfect gift from God waiting for you. One man, one woman, together forever. But there are so many things in our world that would seek to pull marriage apart. All of the evils of the world want you to have the desire that you want apart from the gift of marriage. There are many, and they're various. Not living a sexually pure and decent life is adultery. It's unfaithful to the gift of marriage. Telling dirty jokes is adultery. Homosexuality is adultery. Consuming pornography is adultery. Sex before marriage. Living together as husband and wife before they're married. Or even becoming emotionally attached to someone who is not your husband and wife, is adultery. And you see, adultery doesn't just happen by a physical act. It even can happen when we are imagining something, when the sin goes on here. Jesus himself says, But I say to you that everyone who looks to a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery in the heart. Dear saints, when those things happen, repent. Trust in the promises of God for you. Lead that sexually pure and decent life. Pray for your future spouse, that you might remain faithful for them, and they might remain faithful for you, and one man and one woman God will bring together forever so that you might enjoy the gifts of marriage. Remember your baptism. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.